August 7, 2024. Outdated Mike Johnston, CO, Colorado. Notice how it doesn't say Denver on there? That's because he's eyeballing the governorship. Him and, his, an attor him and his attorney wife, they've all been indexed. Their voices are the new latent print. You hear some people say, oh, their fingerprints are all over this. No, their voice prints are all over it. And we can pattern match that. As like if we were part of the HR department and the city um, called me in and said, hey, give us a rundown on every one of our um, employees and tell us where they're at and what's their social scores and rankings. Boom, baby. Mike Johnson will be the first one on the list. He's outdated. He's always been outdated. When he when he when he when he uh, bloviates about his time as a House of Representative, a, a state senator, for a north end of, De of um, northeast Denver, which is uh, like, um, uh, you do you know where that place is? Well, it's bad. District five. I think it's District 5. I don't know. All those districts are confusing because they make it that way. They make everything confusing. They have the same people writing the same stuff, using the same words year after year after year. I've indexed them all. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'm old. I don't care. Can't ruin my life. It's already been ruined way long time ago, folks. That's why I battle. Because I, uh, the cowards that can just say anything they want for any reason and law enforcement just gobble it up like, like, you know, adolescent children on steroids eating, uh, Skittles. And, uh, not, not, and then when you have, um, police that say they don't believe in, like, investigators, they don't believe in coincidences, those are the people you need to toss the fuck out of, out of this, out of the industry. Because right now, what's going on is Denver's been indexed since for, since a long time. <laughs> okay, since I 2011, but it took some time before that to get everything properly um, foundationized. Because it takes strong foundations to build content in, on the internet. You know, you, you talk about um, how everyone wants to beat up on Google and YouTube if they had to defend everything. They want people that are picking on them that don't want to pay for their services and free. I mean, how do you beat up somebody that's giving you something free? And all these people are all beating on Google and YouTube because they got it free and they want to control their platform and it's free. This is how that shit works, folks. So Mike Johnston, he, when you look at these, these my content isn't made to be clicked on, folks. My content, I help build large language models off of layers and layers and layers and layers of information. I use voice identifiers, the new latent print, if you will, and the GPS and cell phone tower pings and their videos that they make throughout the years on the promises that they make, just like Kamala Harris and Tim uh, Waltz. A radical that's going to turn the whole United States. It's that's not going to happen. I've already seen it. Just like in Denver, when everybody was saying, "Oh, Denver's going to have the first woman," and you know, treating women like they're stupid. And women are very intelligent. If you just sit down and shut up and just listen to them for a while. But then there's those other ones that are too intelligent for their own good, and they don't listen to nobody, and they want you to sit down and shut the fuck up. That don't work no more. And um, I've learned from the best folks. And you think I'm good. Wait till you see the people that taught me. They're just waiting. They're going to pounce. All these, de all these uh, media people, like Colorado, uh, all of them, especially ones that are 5013Cs. See, 5013Cs that get donations, that money's already spent. And then, and then um, a lot of these people aren't, aren't, uh, don't have to pay taxes. So they get all this money in, uh, from their identifiers that pretend to be nonpartisan when they're actually partisan. See, there's IRS and, and those guys, they're all starting to get on board how to check all this. And when they realize how they can use different algorithms to... Uh, bring to the forefront on a search all the people that are talking about a certain uh, word, title, label, paragraph, description. Get it? So what we've done is um, 
we take you back to the whole, all these different people, Shara. She's like 38 years old coming out, her and her crew raised $50 million that they're gonna do the open metaverse. And like, we've been talking about that since 2006, working on it. And because of 2007, 2008 financial debacle and what's coming, what happened on Tuesday, um, down, downfall Tuesday, they're already making it up. So that's not what, that's not what's coming. But here you go, you know, like when uh, empowering small businesses. No, they don't. They only empower themselves. Look up city and county and Denver businesses. And all you see is this government. You look up uh, just different things and it's them. And they're not, they're, they're uh, impeding on the rights of others to gain traction and momentum to move forward in their metaverses. See, um, and so when they sent me a letter in regards to how the city and county of Denver is supposed to be um, identified as, because it was just open end and they break their own, they break their own laws too, because they've been February 6, 2023, uh, courtroom 414, Andrew Luxon, they need to remove him from the bench as soon as possible. But see, these people are already smarter than anybody else. And they think, because they're the judges in the mortal world, that they're going to rule they're going to rule um, the digital world just because. But I used Andrew Luxon as a model of what not to do. And he can go and circumvent anything he wants to do, but he, you know, he needs to be removed from the bench. Magistrate Karen Hubler needs to be removed from the bench. Um, uh, Elizabeth Lay, probate judge, which was a family court judge, she needs to be removed. These are some slime ball people. I even think that they should remove Judge Hood who got whimper snapped by the Supreme Court. How would you like to be that? Try to try to um, circumvent laws. They, see, Colorado Supreme Court thinks they're the, the law of the land. And so they got smacked hard. They haven't even felt that yet. That embarrassment to all the other judges and lawyers who, who knew he shouldn't have done that. But since they're all the same, nothing ever gets done. There's no accountability. Everybody says, oh, you know, um, I'll take full um, responsibility. Right? But they take no accountability. Anybody can say anything, folks. But what I'm saying is that Mike Johnston, Michael, you listening to me? Or any of your surrogates or your... Your people that got you into a position where you don't even know that you're going to ruin your whole entire, your whole pathway. All your children's pathways, all of it. And you ain't a tough guy, Mike. No matter how hard you try or whatever, those boots and all your, everybody's laughing at you. Just like they laugh at me, become doing what I do. But see... My content, just like yours, it's all reactionary. It causes people to do things. So when people look at my stuff, they don't need to click on it. They're looking at it going, holy crap. Who's city and county of Denver, LLC? That's something we started in 2018 that, that you know, when you talk about the city coming out with, with their their outdated, they wouldn't even got, so if, you, if you've ever searched some of these people's names, and use Google operators and do some algorithms that I have, um, you'll find out they would have never gotten a job at 7-Eleven. It's just that the same people vote for the same shit. And so when you vote based off color and who you're fucking and, and, and your next door neighbor and what kind of animal you have and have you ever said the N word, you ever said the W word, you, you know, all this comes into play now because if you're using this rhetoric, like DEI, and then now they got laws where if you don't pronounce somebody's name correctly, it could be a hate crime. So in the mortal world, they can do that. But what happens is those people, they're, circum they're linguistic twisters because they can't, they can't overrule vocabulary doctrine that have been digitized. So these people that do that, they do it for a while because they have a lot of people and they've got the soapbox to do it. But that soapbox is getting smaller it's getting uh, weaker. And the Kamala Harris, uh, I don't know what college that uh, 
the attorney went to, Mike Johnston, he's an attorney. He has an obligation as an officer of the court to uphold the Spear Amendment, which I was telling you earlier, case number 23CV54, Denver District Court. I sued him. CV, excuse me, 23CV54. It's not the first time I sued him. And I had to do it pro se because you can't, you can't find no lawyers. And it was weird because the, the attorney that the judge that AI said it was going to be would, for, would be the best. It didn't say it would be Judge Lux. It just said who would be the best person to hear my case and then write my meta descriptions around his meta tags. And that's what I did. I told the court everything. And so him, when he didn't look at me at all, um, because when I showed up in court, I was dressed nice, I looked good, I was wearing a suit better than he was. Those lawyers, man, they, they look at those suits. And when you're sporting a, a, a Hugo Boss 250 super thread, man, you, you know what I'm saying? People notice that stuff. My dad taught me that. My dad was, a, I was adopted. I was an indigenous Indian boy, adopted in a very strict Irish, Roman, Catholic, Republican military family. And when I hear all these guys like Ian Tafoya and Mike Johnston and, and, and Lisa Calderon, how they're going to save the indigenous and Lisa Calderon coming up with their own 5013C, doing her own poll, saying she's, you know, Denver's ready for the next woman voter. 490,000 voters, man. Well, there's four, we have 550,000. So 450,000 voters told them, nope. See, they were really waiting for me to get on the ballot. You know, when I when you look at the uh, they, the mail ins that I got for the last one, I got they put one. I know that's bullshit. And see, we set them up. They don't know this yet, but it's coming. Okay. Because what I did is I verified people's ballots before they handed them in. So that if they weren't counted, I already had it. So what they, they did and they handed them in, I got documentation. So they're fucked. <laughs> okay. So everything that they do will show in law enforcement, sheriffs. We just did a successful um, Stars and Stripes golf tournament.com. Raised $150,000 for the vets and all the first responders got to come out and play a round of golf at some killer ass um, resorts up in Greeley. And um, Greeley's a very beautiful place, man. It, it's the, the people up there, Water Valley and all those, are brilliant minds. They just get shit done. They just, they, they don't have time. They got all kinds of different people working up there. But they don't hire people based on DEI. They hire people on, can you get the job done? And, and fortunately, they're able to find a whole different mix of group of people that are going to get the job done. But, you know, you got to live up there to get those jobs, folks. You know, there's oil and gas jobs that are killing right now. Can't fill them. 30, 40, 50 bucks an hour. And they'd rather have no, no experience so they can train you the way they need you to tra train you to be a roughneck. That stuff ain't easy, folks, but they're making big dollars. They're getting overtime, triple time. Why wouldn't you want to work for that? But you got to go. There's no bus that's going to take you there for free. You got to put in the work. And so right now, you know, the the next generation is called uh, gen, gen A. Okay. Well, what happened to Gen Z? Gen Z is the end of the line. Now you're starting over with, see, none of that stuff. Those are just like the astrologies, folks. All right. Some of it works. Some of it don't. They're always changing everything because it's a, a, a an ever-changing topic. But what they can't do is change their voices from the things they've done. Like Vibrant Denver. I was talking Vibrant Denver way back in 2011. I just moved on from that conversation because I knew someone else was going to grab it like Mike Johnston. He had it to where he was going to do find practical, pragmatic ways. My committee was people for a more um, pragmatic government. I think somewhere I said practical, pragmatic, but I say so much I can't remember. But, but the fact that it's here in front of your eyes, because then it goes in, 
vibrant future verse. I've already talked about this stuff a long time ago, and now it's fruition into the future, which is today, because I wrote it in the past. Kelly, bro, do you remember when everyone's going to say, oh, she's overrated, bloviated pig with red lipstick? Boom, buddy. They all said, oh, everybody's going to vote first woman. And then what happened is when the first women didn't get in, they showed hate toward the women. And they went and, and uh, they all, the, the other candidates went and sided up with uh, Mike Johnston. How's that for women's solidarity, folks? This, these people are ruthless, man. Ruthless. They wouldn't even have made it in my high school. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. My high school, I had 4,000 students. I hear Mike Johnston and, oh, I grew up and then Rampy was your school. I had like a thousand people. Ooh, and they're all, God, they got a thousand people. That's our high school. See, you can't bloviate your meta tags. It, you could before we start indexing this. And that's how you know Mike Johnson's outdated because he'd be picking up the phone right now going, hey, you need to meet with our economic development team. We need to get that city and county of Denver LLC off the ground. We know, I don't, I built that for the citizens of Denver. What am I going to use it for? We don't have a bank account. We have nothing. It's a foundation. Not a foundation that, you know, at 5013C. It's a foundation, folks. It's the start of the citizens of Denver gaining back its identity as a non-political government where economy okay, and services are the main sole purpose. And Mike Johnston done fucked all that up. Okay? And it's all indexed to save, the, to save the homeless that they created. So that instead of us raising taxes to fix our sidewalks that are some reason never get fixed because they're waiting for the people to buy the homes so they pay for their sidewalks. That's pretty smart, actually. But it doesn't help for the lies that they told about getting sidewalks fixed. And then they use it every year. Oh, we're going to get the sidewalk. Oh, Mike Johnson. They actually, Mike Johnson thinks he's a savior. And he might be a savior in the dark web because that's where he's going, Michael. That's where you're going. Guess who's putting you there? I am. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want, but you are a failed man in a failed system identified by artificial intelligence that was verified and digitized on February 6, 2023, when city attorney, assistant city attorney Michelle Horn blasted with glee when I asked Judge Andrew Luxon from Sturm College, who that's where Magistrate Karen Hubler is from, Sturm, all those kids that go to Stern, they got another thing coming. They're gonna, they're not gonna be able to get jobs because they're any other lawyers. That's the thing about lawyers; they have absolute authority because they interpret and 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 create laws. So when you're not doing the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing. And Denver's been doing the wrong things for for 61 fucking years. And I indexed every single piece every identifier all the way up to, to Mayor Webb who couldn't even pick a candidate. That shows you where nobody's listening to him anymore. When he passes away, they're going to take that statue of him. Hey, are you listening to me, Webb? Remember, remember meeting me and, and then you, hit, you, took, you skated out because you thought I was going to start talking shit? I mean, God, man, I, I couldn't believe it. I was giving you praise, and then you walk out of the library, and, and they're like, where did Webb go? He was here a minute ago. Remember that? <laughs> Fuck. So, you know, Mike Johnston, or Mayor Hancock, he's, he's making almost 300000 a year, saying he's, he's offering C-suites of businesses. You don't know a thing about business, man. He's a puppet. But every one of those puppets get paid with, with, with um, forever money. And then when they do, when they finish their city council, man, they get to go get a job. Like Colin, the, the guy that was the president of the city council, Colin Clark. I call him Colin Clark. So when Colin starts spooing, he's working for the Parks Mountain. Now he's making another 140000 on top of his 94000 Wow. You can't get anybody else in there? That's what I mean. It's closed. And all these people that are voting to make all these people rich look like fools. And they're all going to get indexed. 
to where is their vote real, like people go my vote don't count well it's counting for the ones that are voting so when people make that argument is wrong argument to make and right now this voting that's next is going to determine the socialist agenda and the communist agenda and the terrorist agenda of, of taking Denver of taking the United States out of commission you know I'd be surprised one day if, if you know and, and the thing is when they when you know I, I just I've seen it all folks and I'm, I'm trying to you know look in the book of Daniels Enoch book of Enoch I'm just a messenger and it's those messengers that go through to a lot of battles to be able to earn the right to be here to show everybody their asses and what's coming. And that Gen Z's, when they're all in the, standing there behind Biden and all them, uh, Kamala Harris, would, she has no platform. They have nothing but hyperbole. They got a guy, a governor now, that, that approved a law to where they um, can have an abortion at any, uh, you can abort a child at any age. You can have uh, sex change at 10 years old where you don't have to tell, tell your parents. So big government in, is, uh, is knocking. And the good news is I'm old. The good news, everybody that's old right now, and the, the really good news is all the people that are dead, they don't have to see it anymore. They're dead. They're gone. There's, it's just like taking a piece of paper and lighting it. The difference is we have souls, paper don't. I think dogs and cats and animals have souls too, but for some reason God said, no, they don't get a soul, only you get a soul. Well, isn't that kind of a stingy God? Or is that Jesus? Or is that Allah? I see, when you get religion into things, man's a sinner anyways. So... Um, you look at look at uh, Mark Zuckerberg, right? Atheist. He didn't pray to God for money. He didn't pray to God to to help him. He didn't pray to God according to him. He didn't, he's an atheist. So what made Mark Zuckerberg? Mark Zuckerberg? Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg's parents. Mark Zuckerberg's experiences through life and his connections and what he was able to, to use and utilize to make himself Mark Zuckerberg. He's fallen down like when he came out a blue belt doing those one, two, three, four moves. Anybody with any simplified beginner trainer would know that those moves were staged. They, they didn't, fl it was a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, his arm bar thing. I, I I saw the count. It wasn't watch when someone does the armbar. It's just it's just done. It's a flow. Wow. So uh, not anyway. So when he came out as a blue belt wanting to fight um, uh, Elon Musk, who's another non-fighter. These are guys that never been in fights in their whole entire lives. Not like I've been in a fight. And when you looked at me at what I look like. Back in the day, dude looks like a lady. I thought I was a heavy metal dude. I had no idea people were looking at me like I was just a bitch, a chick with a dick. That's what I, that's what that's what they call it. That's what they were calling heavy metal singers back then. And you know what? Shit, I didn't care. I was getting girls. It didn't matter to me, but it did matter to people. You know, but I already knew that because like when I was in a bar, like in Phoenix, when the bars close at one. If I wasn't out there at 12, like, I'd get guys throughout the night. So the early of the night, I'd be, I'd get them one guys, tap me on the sh shoulder. Hey, baby, you want to dance? And my buddy's next to me on the other side. I'm talking to you because my back's toward the guy that just tapped me on the shoulder. Said, do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? Hey, baby, you want to dance? And, uh, he, and my buddy would go, man, you might want to go dance with that fella. <laughs> Fuck. And I turn around, I go, really, dude? What? Mm, fuck you, fag. What? You call, you asked me to dance, freak. But that's, and then, and then, boom, then there'd be a fight. But it wasn't me that was fighting, because he was already on the ground. Because you gotta be quicker. You gotta be quicker than the snake. So, anyways, 
that's about it, folks. That's the, the rundown on Mike Johnston and his toughness and his empowering, look at empowering businesses. No, we empower business, and that's about to launch here soon. It's going to launch. We, we're finally getting people to finally talk about getting out of their holes, grabbing their balls, lifting up their skirts, and doing what they got to do. Because Mike Johnston, look at this. Mike Johnston touts accomplishments. He spent millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. He took hotels that are used to create economic um, value to our cities, businesses surrounding those uh, properties so that they spend that money in those shops. When those people aren't spending money in those shops, there ain't enough local citizens going there to spend money going down to Colfax, going down to 16th Street Mall. Locals don't shop there. If, you, if you're shopping there, then you then you got more money than you know what to do with. Okay? Because that's all for people that aren't coming down there to shop because the word's already out. Mike Johnson, are you listening to me? You better pick up the phone and call me, fella, because you're, 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 you're headed to the dark web. There ain't nothing you can do about it. You're first state of the city, you were indexed, brother. And now all, everything's pattern match. So if I was, if, if the city called me and said, hey, give us the social um, scores and rankings on uh, Mike Johnson, I'll say, okay, here, here's one. 